Yo, yo, yo! What's up, boys? We're back for another one. I'm your king, the Whiskey King, and today we got a special guest coming through. A couple years back, me and the Jester took a trip out to Colorado. We were hiking up in the altitude, and we came across this cave. And deep within this cave, I mean really deep, there was this knight, and he was thirsting. He looked like he was so thirsty. We nicknamed him Thurston's. He was actually a duke of this long lost tribe, like part of like Camelot or something. He traces history back. Duke Thurston's. We were talking like, yo, what are you doing in this cave? What's going on, man? I handed him a whiskey and then he gave me something that he brought back and told me about. And it was a bottle that we're gonna review. So without further ado, let's call him the Duke. Thurston's. Yo, what's up, Duke? Duke! Yo! So, for those of you who don't know, Duke is from Colorado, and his last name is Thurston's because he's always thirsty for some good fucking whiskey. So, Thanks. he brought us a special bottle from Colorado. It comes from an area called Durango. Now, over there, they're really into that concept of bringing the natural environment to the glass. They're creating whiskey with natural ingredients that they grow over there. They're using glacial melt water and then wild honey and mixing that all in. He likes something a little bit more on the sweeter palate. I may make a recommendation for you, but this is what I think is good. It's a multifaceted experience. I'm getting invited to drink it by the smell. I'm having an incredible time drinking it with the flavors. There's flavor switches going on as I'm drinking it. The mouth feel is coating my whole mouth. The finish is long and lasting, going on for days, and it just continues to take me on a journey. So I look for world-class pours like that. Now, you may not be as sophisticated, you just want a basic experience of something that you like with the particular flavor profile that you enjoy, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. If you're having a good time with it, fucking cheers, okay? With that said, he had a lot of bad experiences with some shit whiskey until he found this and brought it back for us. Colorado Honey Whiskey. Take a good look at it, okay? Craft Distilled. This one is a 37%. Because they mix it with honey, it lowers the percentage a little bit. We're gonna pour this out and get right into Duke's story and let him tell you what we think. Yo, yo, Duke, so how was the flight over, man? First off, I like that usage of glacial. That's definitely a fucking SAT word. Cheers to that, my friend. Cheers, mother. As I'm sniffing, I want you to tell everybody your experience with some of the other honey whiskey and then what you thought about this one. It's really sweet on the nose. I'm getting caramel, honey, vanilla. There's a tremendous amount of sweet honey. I mean, the honey is amazing. Oh, it's really sweet it's on amazing. the nose. Yeah. It tastes even better. The only other real whiskey that has honey in it is Jack. And at normal local bars and shit. So, you know, you drink what they fucking give you. Yeah, because that's what most people right. normally have. But I was introduced to this, I was on a trip. In Colorado, and uh, one of my boys was like, "Yo, check this shit out." So I grabbed the bottle. I was like, "Yeah, whatever. It's just another Jack." He's like, "Nah, son, I don't think so." Yeah, he gave yeah. me a taste. I stole all of his bottles. Shit. Brought them back here. I fucking loved it. Yep. What was the main difference? Like, because I've tried some of that Jim Beam, like Jack stuff, was mixed in honey. Yep. And I've always felt it kind of tastes like cough syrup. Like it fucking, does. Like, like, it like, does. A, like a medicine. Yep. And the reason why that is, is they're not using good ingredients. Yep. So what I want all of you to remember, go back and watch my Hill Rock video. Terroir really makes a big difference. In Colorado, they're really all about that terroir concept and bringing the natural ingredients and natural environment to the glass. The reason why this tastes better is better water, better ingredients for the whiskey, and they're using wild honey. That's right. crafted. That's what I was gonna get to. That's yeah. what I was gonna get to. The main difference is for me, Honey Jack has this, as the Whiskey King said, this little aftertaste of medicine. The aftertaste here is of actual honey. 
Yeah. So you 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 you're tasting real honey here. It's you real shit. Okay. Yeah. So you're like, oh shit, this is fucking good. And it goes down dude, real smooth, right, dude? It's amazing. So let's get right into it, boys. Dude. So, like I said, I get hints of the bourbon, caramel, oak, vanilla, with a lot of honey on the nose. The only bad thing about this is you can only get it in Colorado. It's light bodied on the mouth. You're getting hints of oak and vanilla, a little bit of cinnamon, but the honey, I mean, and like just beautiful taste of wild honey coming through. I gotta pour up again. <laughs> oh, dude. I mean, if, if you like the taste of honey in your whiskey, there is absolutely nothing better. I would ask them to compare it. Listen, go get oh, your honey jack. Nothing. I nothing mean, is going to compare. Don't take our word for it. The king's guarantee right here. Oh, 100%. I want to give a shout out to the Rosenthal's that turned me on to this as well. Mm -hmm. yep. And like, wow, that was the best honey whiskey I've ever tried in my life. It can be a little dangerous because this shit goes down so easy and sneak so up smooth. on you, sneak up it on can you. Sneak up on you a little bit. It yeah. ain't like Henny. Henny hits you hard. This shit will sneak up Woo. on your ass. Yo, it is good. So like if you wanna have this on the rocks, no problem. You wanna drink it straight up, no problem. I'm looking for bangers only. Facts. Okay, Facts. bangers only. I don't want no bullshit cough syrup in my glass. I mean that's the one we get sick. Listen, yeah. another yeah. thing too. <laughs> My personal opinion, I like it on rocks. It brings out the honey th taste, if you know what I'm saying. You think reducing the temperature brings out the flavor of the honey a little bit? Yes. I'm assuming maybe it's because of the sugar content in the honey. Possibly. That That's might be thinking. for your palate that is bringing out more flavor right. at the lower temperature. Right. But normally, whiskey is better not consumed cold. It actually reduces the amount of flavor you could taste if it's not a honey whiskey. But this is a little different because you're infusing honey, so we're just gonna change it. And yeah, we're, uh, we're having a little technical, a little technical difficulty. Nice. Let's show them what we're smoking tonight. David off Nicaraguan. I don't know if you could see Boy, that. If y'all knew. Oh, and I got a Opus X Lost mm -hmm. City because that's just my favorite. You can't go wrong with Opus. If you've been checking out my videos for a little bit, don't forget to subscribe, smash that fucking like button. Boom, bitch. Check me out on Instagram, at Whiskey King Reviews. If you like my boy Duke Thirstings, give him a shout out in the comments. If you want to get this, you need to know somebody in Colorado, bring it back. Listen, give us a holler, man. We'll get you some bottles, baby. Yo, listen, I want to give a big shout out to my peoples on EME, Grizz, Justin Chan, you know what I'm saying? They out here with me on the stream, on the side. Appreciate them, as always, you know what I mean? So I hope you boys appreciated this. We're going to bring back Duke for some more shit on another time. Peace out, boys.